And when you set out to find the truth, it's not really to find the truth. It's to find validation for what you already believe is the truth. It's to reinforce your fantasies. And police officers sworn to uphold the law, protect and defend the Constitution of their state and of the United States of America, blatantly ignoring the law, stripping the rights from citizens, committing crimes just so they don't lose their job. Afraid that if they lose their job, they won't be able to find another job that pays as well. You make me puke. I'm so sick of it, you're going to see some major changes coming on this broadcast and in my organizations. I've had it with you. My family and I are going to enjoy life from now on. We're still going to print Veritas, and it's still going to be the best paper in the United States of America, and this is still going to be the best radio broadcast, but it's going to be a lot different than what it has been. And my organization is still going to consist of the best people in this country collecting information so that we can deal with what's coming. We meaning me and my people. The rest of you, frankly, my dear Scarlet, can go soak your heads. You're really not worthy of all the great men and women who have laid down their lives and their reputations and suffered great personal attacks all for you. I don't even come within the width of the universe to even being remotely a fly speck compared to Jesus Christ. And if that man in all his teachings and all that he tried to do ended up crucified on a hill, how in the world did I ever think that I was going to be any different? or that anybody else is going to be any different. Don't you stupid boobs know that everybody in every town in the United States is doing the same damn thing? And that's why government doesn't shrink. Government can't shrink. You can't take something away from fools once you've given it to them, even if the fools know that it should be taken away. So government keeps growing and growing and growing, and it'll keep growing and growing and growing until it just absolutely collapses and a new order will come in. And a despotism will rule. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. The whole structure is going to collapse into total and absolute chaos. And a lot of these so-called patriots are going to turn into petty little warlords. They're going to rape, loot, and steal. And so are other people who are not even patriots. Some patriots will try to preserve law and order and will be killed in the process. What's going to happen is this whole structure is going to fall apart into utter and total chaos. The ruling elite are going to go underground and wait it out while everybody up here just kills each other off. Then they'll come back up and establish a despotism. And you will be ruled like the Lodge rules its members. You will be pledged to absolute obedience. And you'd better hope that the despot is a benevolent.
You will destroy yourselves and you will get exactly what you deserve. And those of us who don't deserve it and who want to live by the truth will do the best we can for each other. There really isn't anything to do for the rest of you. You go from one dead end to another. You don't like to be in the middle of the river so that you will get to any kind of a destination. You keep getting caught up in these little eddies that spin around and around and around. You are the flotsam and the jetsam of the battle of life. And you are tossed willy-nilly here and there by the tides and the waves and the oceans and the storms. Those of us who fight the battles... are the ones who get somewhere. The rest of you, as in all of history, always fall mercy to the victor of the battle. And it never really matters who it is. For whoever it is, as long as you are the sheep, it doesn't matter who they are or what they do, they will always be the wolves. And all of this realization and this pain, I still wish you well. But knowing that it is your nature that you will not do well. You did not make this nation. Great men sticking their lives in the balance made it for you. You have thrown it away. Amazing. Absolutely pathetic. A nation of children. And it used to be a time when the uh, sheeple could go to work and bring home some real money. And they used to save their money. They weren't such sheeple as they are today. It was not considered honorable to be in debt. And if you were in debt, you tried to pay it off as quickly as you possibly could, and you never tried to, to intentionally go into debt. You had to be forced into debt by some terrible catastrophe that happened to the family. And the parents helped them learn this lesson. For the parents <laughs> are practicing it themselves. It is pathetic absolutely pathetic a nation of children in sheep's clothing pretending to be adults and thinking that they're going to straighten things out and stop this new world order I get news for you I have come to my ultimate conclusion you ain't going to stop nothing you can't even figure out what's going on in your own neighborhood much less how to stop this new world order or what to do about it and so many of you are so absolutely ignorant and stupid that you've already rigged the next election. You've split the vote up so many different ways that I can guarantee you that our enemies are going to win if there is even an election. You see, I'm sick of it, folks. You're not going to win anything. You're not going to escape anything, and you're not going to get liberty back. Not at all. You're too stupid to do it. You're too ignorant to do it. You've got too many agendas of your own, most of which are to keep your little fantasies going around you so that you never have to look at the truth and so that you never have to be blamed for anything. But the truth is, if you want to know what's wrong with this country, ladies and gentlemen, go look in the mirror. Go look in the mirror. And you will see exactly what's wrong with the United States of America staring at you in the glass. Absolutely. Patriots? I find very few patriots running around in this country. I find an awful lot of people who call themselves patriots, but who also have agendas. 